Now, what would Pirate Bean be without making our own alligator puppet? What's that? Awesome. I mean, why, what would you do without an alligator? Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go over our supplies. So what we need is we need some colored paper. If you don't have colored paper, that's okay. Use your white paper and we can color it. All right, not a big deal. But I have green, of course, because every alligator is green. We have yellow, we have red, and I have white for his teeth or her teeth, whichever you want. I also have a paintbrush if you're going to use paint, glue, a pencil, some crayons, of course, to color our alligator, some paint, because I'm going to show you a technique with the paint that you can do, and some, some things to make texture and some scissors. But I've got some bubble wrap, I have a, a produce bag, and I have my textured paper. I wonder what things you can find that have texture in them that you're going to use to make the texture in your alligator, all right? So what we're going to do first, let me move some of this out of the way, okay? So what we need to do first is we're going to make the inside of this, this yellow part right here. This is called the armature of a puppet, all right? So that's what we're going to do first. So you're gonna get your paper, and I chose yellow, you don't have to use yellow, and we're gonna hold it horizontal. That means the long way, all right? If you want to color your paper first, you can do that, uh, and come back and look at how th the instructions are on how to make this, that's fine. Pause the video, whatever you need to do. But we're going to start. So what we need to do is we're gonna take our horizontal paper, and we're going to fold it in threes, not in half. We need it in three, so three section. All right, so in thirds. So what we're going to do is you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna put it at the top of the paper. And with your hand, you're probably just, you're, you'd probably use your thumb, but since my hand's a bit bigger, and we're gonna fold it up to my hand. See how it's not all the way? It's not all the way there. We didn't go all the way up. It's only part way. So we're gonna go all the way where my finger is. And we need to make sure, move these papers out of the way. We need to make sure that our paper is even. If it's folded like that, that's gonna be crooked. It's not gonna work so well. So we need to make sure that that's evenly folded. And we're going to press, press down on that paper. Press that fold, all right? So now we're all even. Then we're going to take this, the top, then we're gonna fold it over, we're gonna fold on that line. See where that stopped right here? We're gonna fold on that line. And we're going to press, okay? And make sure it's even, okay? So now you should have a paper that has three sections. One, two, three. So we folded our paper in thirds, okay? Put that back, put that back. So now you've got one long piece of skinny paper. What we're going to do now, okay, I want you to watch first, is we're going to fold this in half. All right, so we're gonna fold it in half. So you're gonna use this hand and you're gonna hold this side down and you're gonna match this edge to the top. I want you to watch me first and I'll do it again so you know what we're doing, okay? Just watch right now. So we're gonna fold it in half. We're gonna line both ends up. All right, and we're gonna press down. We're gonna press that fold. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. You're gonna use this hand, hold this side down, and you're gonna fold this paper in half. And you're gonna line this edge up with this edge. Okay, and press down. Okay, so now you've folded your paper in half. It should look like this. You see? Looks like a V. All right. So we'll lay that back down. And now what you're going to do is you're going to fold the top piece, this top one. See how we're leaving the bottom one? We're not folding this. We're going to take this top piece. Now just watch. All right. Don't do it yet. Just watch how I do it. You're going to fold this back and you're going to line this edge up with this bottom edge. Okay. So press, press, press. 
Okay, now I want you to try. You're gonna take your top piece of paper and you're gonna fold it back and this edge is gonna meet this edge. And you're gonna press, press, press. So now you still have your back piece of paper. You've not folded that yet, just your top piece. So now it looks like this. Okay, so do that. Fold that top piece back down to that bottom fold. All right, so now you're gonna flip it over. You're like this, okay? You're gonna flip it over and you're gonna do the same to this piece. All right, so you're gonna take this top and you're gonna match it to the bottom. You're gonna fold it, matching that with the bottom and press, all right? I'll do that again. You're gonna take this piece, this top edge, and you're gonna match it with the bottom edge. And you're gonna fold it down. All right, now, what you should have is it should look like an M or a W, however you look at it, all right? And what you should have is when you put it together, you should have pockets. You see those pockets? That is what we're going to stick our fingers in and our thumb. I can get the paper open. And that is what makes our puppet mouth. Do you see it? Okay. So that we're going to set aside for right now. We have that. Does anybody need me to replay that? This is what we did. We have our paper. We're going to stick our fingers up here, fold that so it matches, and then we're going to fold that last half over, okay? Then we're going to fold, hold it down, fold this in half, okay? Then we're gonna take this top edge, fold it down to the bottom. Then we're going to flip it over, top edge down to the bottom, and press. Make sure, right, we're pressing good. All right, you should have two pockets. All right, if you're holding it this way, your pockets, you're not gonna see them. All right, you need to turn it over and you've got two pockets, all right, for your fingers. So set that aside. Now, we're gonna to start to work on our alligator. So you need your green paper or your white paper. Get it? Whatever you want to do, if you have white paper, you can color it green. I'm gonna show you some techniques of adding texture onto that, okay? All right. So we've got our green. What I'm going to do is I have all these different textured pieces. All these have a texture to them. So I can put this on top of here. And I can color it. Okay. And I can turn it a different way and color it. So I can see my texture through the paper. That adds texture in it. Or, I like this one, I have a produce bag. Put it on top of that. Okay. And it adds texture on it. All these bumps and lines. Because an alligator isn't smooth. An alligator has scales and they're bumpy and dry and crusty. All right. Or if you have paint and you want to try the paint, you can take this. And I like this with the bubble wrap. It's a bit fun. You can paint your bubble wrap. Okay. And then press. Press. See? And it starts to look like bumps and lumps that the alligator would have. You see that? All right. 
So that's some idea that you can do if you don't have green paper or you want to try the white paper, that's perfectly fine. Okay, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to work with my green paper. And because it's already green, I'm going to need some darker green. Hmm, I think this is a good alligator green. I'm going to add some texture onto it. Okay. you want in doing that all right okay we're gonna take our green paper and what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half all right so we want this edge to match up with the other edge and we're gonna for horizontal horizontal again so we're going to fold it like that and press our edge so now we have half our paper showing Okay, see, I folded it in half. Well, I have my texture on the outside, all right? So what then, what we need to do is we need to find the middle of the top of our paper. So right here, not over here, or over here, this is the middle of the top of our paper. And you are going to put, I would say three fingers, but I'm just gonna use two, all right? You put th three fingers right in the middle, and you're gonna take your pencil, and you're gonna put a little dot on either side of your finger, okay? So that's what's gonna be the top. So you have your two dots up here. So that's going to be the nose end of our alligator. And what you need to do is you're gonna draw a straight line from the bottom corner up to the first dot, and then another straight line from the other bottom corner up to the first dot, okay? So you can use a ruler if you need to, or you can just freehand it, that's fine. So you're gonna draw a line all the way up, and a line all the way up. Oh, that's a crooked line. All right, let me get, I'm gonna do darker. Okay, let's see if you can see this. See that? And then a line from that down to the bottom corner. You see that a little bit better? Okay, so now that you have your line all the way up to the closest dot, and a line from this corner up to the closest dot, you're going to cut this out. But you're going to cut both papers because you want it to be the same on both sides. So you're going to cut on that line and cut on this line and put these scraps aside. You can always use those for something else. And as you see on this one, I have rounded the edges. You can kind of round those edges of that nose. Okay. So now I have two pieces that look like this. So they're going to be the nose and the bottom jaw of my alligator, all right? So this top one, I'm going to bend it back a little bit, make that nose, and I'm gonna draw some nostrils on my alligator. Draw two circles, and color them in. them in. All right. So now you have the top part of your alligator and now we can start putting them together. So we're going to go back to our armature, right? And make sure that you're doing this the right way. So this is where your fingers go in these pockets. 
So we want our alligator nose to point this way. We don't want it. We want it on here like this. We don't want to do this. Otherwise, it's going to be over our hands. It's going to look like he's eating our hands. Okay? So we're going to put it on this way. So our, here's our pocket. We're going to put our glue on that. And we're going to line up this edge with the edge of our armature, okay? I'm gonna press it on. So can you see there's our pocket and our nose is pointing this way, all right? And then we're gonna flip it over and do the same with this end, okay? We don't wanna put it back here. We don't wanna put it backwards. We're gonna line it up the same. This edge goes on this edge and we're gonna try to match it to our top nose piece and press it on and we can bend that back a little bit so it matches our nose all right now it's starting to look like a like an alligator a little bit make sure our pockets didn't get glued closed you see see how it's starting to come together okay now we need to make the eye so that we have a, just a scrap piece of white paper, and you're going to fold a rectangle out of it. Okay, so we've got one that looks like this, and I fold it in half because we want the eyes to look the same. And we're going to draw our eyes and I want them to be long so it's kind of like a rainbow with long legs so we're gonna go up and around and back down see a rainbow with long legs and we're going to cut this out these are our eyes okay so now we have two that look the same, okay? Now we need to draw on our eyes. So mine's gonna be a sleepy alligator. So we're gonna draw some drowsy eyelids. Color those in. Okay. I want you guys to take your time. Take your time. Add texture on our eyelids too if you want. Okay. Take your time. And then let me a half circle. And then alligators don't have pupils like ours. There's our slits. We're gonna kind of come down like this. Can you see that? Like that, and color those in. I think the sun is getting the better of my marker. Okay, and I'm gonna make the irises, the colored part, yellow. I think alligators have a yellow iris. And then to make these stick up, we're gonna bend them and make a little foot again, just like we did in a, when we did our pirate ship sails. We need a little foot to make them stand up. So they look about the same. Put some glue on that foot. And we're gonna take our alligator and we're gonna go all the way to the edge, like this, and glue those eyes on. For us, make sure they have some good contact sticking really well and then we'll go to the other side and we're going to stick that on oh we need some glue and we're going to stick that one on right. stick it down really well all right so this is what it should look like so far okay got its eyes on now 
we're gonna do a tongue for our alligator. Oops, sorry, hit the camera. All right. We, our alligator has a long tongue. So we're gonna do the same. Draw on it with pencil if you need to, or just cut what you think. Just the same, a long, a rainbow with long legs. And we're gonna put some glue at the top of that. And open up. And put our fingers in it. All right, open up her mouth. And I think right about there is a good place for her tongue. Sit, right there. Yeah? Okay, what's left? What's left for our poor alligator? Her teeth. How is she going to eat without teeth? So how are we gonna do that? We've still got some scrap white paper. And you can fold it so you can cut more teeth at the same time. But alligators have sharp teeth. So we need to cut her some sharp teeth. And you can draw these first and then cut them out. Whatever you want, whatever works best for you. We're going to make little feet on our teeth. Put some glue on. And you go, you have to go right to the edge of the mouth. So right here, you know, stick that tooth down. Because if you put them in the middle of the mouth, then when you chomp down, you're going to bend the teeth. So we want these right on the edge. of her mouth so they go over the side. Okay, so you get the idea. There's her teeth. Stick out over the side, see? Like that. There. And then of course don't forget you've got to do both sides, but I'll work on her again later. But by this time, your alligator should look about like this. With teeth and eyes and a tongue. And I want to see everybody's alligator. And you can make all different kinds of animals with this. You could make it a dragon. You could do a puppet show for mom and dad. How fun. All right, thank you guys for coming to class. I hope to see you soon. I'll talk to you later, bye.